So it has been quite a while since I filmed my last twin flame video. I might be mistaken on this, but I'm pretty sure the last twin flame video that I filmed was about a year ago, September or October of 2021. And the reason why I filmed that twin flame video at the time was because I was about to release my book, Soul Shock, which has been out for about a year, almost a year now. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm about to release my second book, Ego Death, which is a follow-up to Soul Shock. Now, in this past year, I have experienced quite a bit as far as my Twin Flame situation goes. And my perspective about Twin Flames has completely changed. Or, I won't say completely changed, but it's expanded. It's expanded in a way that at that time, at the time of me filming that last video, and at the time of me writing Soul Shock, I didn't really have the context to really have this perspective. I didn't have the spiritual context to have this perspective. This year, 2022, has been my greatest spiritual growth year of my entire life, by far. 2022 has been a major spiritual growth year, and a big part of the reason why is because of the things that I've experienced as it pertains to my twin flame journey. Now, let me just start off by saying this. The reason why I'm making this video is not only to share my insights, but to provide you guys with some context as well. Because when my next book comes out, it's not like Soul Shock in the sense that it's very straightforward and you can tell what's happening. And even if you haven't experienced that sort of thing, it'll just make sense just because it's about a common topic. This book can't be reduced to a regular romantic endeavor because this book takes it to a level that I feel is more authentic and more in alignment with the twin flame connection, at least in my personal experience. I can't speak for everyone, but I can't speak for myself. Now, let me give you guys some context as to where I was when I made my last twin flame video, which was, like I said, September or October of last year. So at the time, I was fresh out of a relationship with my ex-girlfriend who in the video I refer to as my soulmate. Now, what I've realized over time is that we are all twin flames. We are all twin flames, we are all soulmates. And I know that if you're in the midst of a twin flame situation, if that's what you wanna call it, if you're in the midst of a twin flame situation, if you've been exposed to the twin flame connection, you honestly might've clicked off the video by this point, or you might've disliked the video, you're currently typing a hate comment. I'm not gonna read your hate comment because I don't read comments anymore because I value my peace of mind, but you get the point. It's very triggering, okay? If I had divulged the insight that I have right now on my 20-year-old self two years ago, he would not have understood what the fuck I was talking about. He would have no understanding because he didn't have the spiritual context of the experiences that I've had as well as the introspection about said experiences. Now, maybe one day I'll make a video explaining everything that has occurred in my life in this past year, and I'm sure that there's more to come as well because I feel like these types of connections have a way of appearing in your life when you least expect them. And if you have experienced this sort of connection, then you know what I'm talking about, but I feel like to the average person, I'm just gonna sound delusional, but the people that know, know. Okay, if you know, you know. When divinity is at play, nothing is off the table. No possibility is off the table. And I know it sounds like I'm speaking in really coded terms because I don't wanna spoil too much from the book, but the book pretty much outlines all of the experiences that I've had in this past year. But it also outlines the conclusions that I've come to as a result of said experiences as they pertain to my twin flame situation, like I said. So I wanna give you guys some context as to what my general philosophy is with twin flames. I tried to say something similar to this on Reddit, but the moderators of the twin flame subreddit, for whatever reason, decided to delete my post. And then I made a similar post and then they deleted that as well. Not saying anything bad about them, it is what it is. Perhaps I was meant to make this video instead. So here's my conclusion about twin flames. Okay, like I said, everyone is your twin flame. Now, how did I reach this conclusion? 
Like I said, when I made that last video, I had just broken up with my ex. And subconsciously, I didn't know this at the time, but part of the reason why I broke up with her was because I didn't feel the same level of connection with her that I had felt with the Twin Flame Girl. Now, mind you, I had been with my ex for six and a half months, almost seven months, and I had been with the Twin Flame Girl. We were never officially together, mind you. Me and the Twin Flame Girl, we never kissed or did anything like that. And I had only seen her in person four times, but it felt like I had known her for lifetimes, okay, lifetimes, multiple lifetimes. And that sense of familiarity transcended any sense of connection that I was able to develop with my ex, with the soulmate girl, who, like I said, is actually a twin flame as well. But I didn't feel that connection, and not only did that kind of push me away from her, but it drew me closer to the twin flame girl again. Now, whether or not the twin flame girl knew this, I don't know. I don't know because this is largely an intuitive connection. That's one thing that I've realized is that it is largely intuitive, hence some of the chance encounters that we've had and certain things that, like I said, I talk about in the book. But I didn't feel the connection and because of that, I ran away, right? And in that, I sort of got some insight into what it feels like to be the runner, or at least I thought I had, in the sense that I was able to find forgiveness in understanding that it is very possible to like or even love someone and not necessarily want to be with them. Because even to the very day that I broke up with my ex, I still loved her. I won't even say I just liked her, I loved her, but the love was more so on the emotional level and the intellectual level and the physical level. It was more on the surface level, whereas the twin flame connection was more of a spiritual pull. It was much more of a spiritual pull. And that's what I was seeking out. And I couldn't find it. I could not find it. And it stressed me out. And like I said, it drove me closer to the twin flame girl again. And that's when synchronicities begin to occur. All types of divine synchronicities. For example, okay, I'm filming this video in a parking lot right now. There were times where in the middle of the night, I would just go on these intuitive drives. And if you guys read Soul Shock, you might've seen me talk about some of the places that me and that girl hung out at. And I ended up at those places in the middle of the night. Now, mind you, most of those places I'd only been to one time because I couldn't stand to go back. I couldn't stand to go back, but evidently that was part of my healing process because I was subconsciously led to those places without even knowing how to get there. I would just go on random drives and then I'd look up and I'd be in those places at two o'clock in the morning. And that's actually how I began the writing process of Soul Shock. And you'll see some of this in my next book. Okay, like I said, I outlined this whole entire process, this whole entire experience in my next book but little synchronicities like that begin to occur and they begin to stack up very very quickly like i said maybe one day i'll make a video further elaborating on all of the things that i've experienced some of my friends know almost the full extent of everything that i've experienced but it got to the point where i had to surrender to the notion to the sentiment that this divine connection is very very real Okay, when I was with my ex-girlfriend, I remember I would still feel that pull, but I would do everything in my power to rationalize my way out of the connection. And what I've learned is that you can't do that. You cannot do that. You can't transcend the connection by rationalizing it, by suppressing it, by running from it, by ignoring it. You simply can't do that. It'll always catch up with you. You can't run from yourself. Okay, and at the end of the day, what is a twin flame but a mirror which allows you to see yourself. You're running from your own reflection. You are running from your own reflection. You are running from the divine essence within you, the divine essence within them. You're running from the part of yourself that you see in them. What I've learned is that you can't do that. It's not sustainable. And like I said, I now have the context of what it feels like to be the runner. Now, you guys have to understand that just because you're a runner doesn't mean that they're chasing you. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're chasing you or 
They could be chasing you subconsciously. They could be chasing you in the sense that maybe they're thinking about you a lot and you feel that. You feel them thinking about you. You feel their desire for you. Even though you have no tangible evidence, you simply feel it. And that puts you into your fight or flight mode. And more often than not, flight ends up prevailing and you run. You run from that connection. You try to rationalize your way out of it, especially if you're a man. You try to rationalize your way out of it. Oh, it was all in my head. I was delusional. So on and so forth. The universe will humble your ass, bro. I swear, bro, the universe will humble you if you approach it with that mindset. I'm speaking from experience with that. Some of you have experienced that as well. Some of you will have to experience that. Perhaps this warning will not be enough, and that's okay. Because some of us are just meant to experience it that way. But hopefully, there's one person out there that I can help avoid having to go through the suffering that I went through because I suffered a lot for denying that connection. Now, what I've realized is that the twin flame connection is not something to be denied, it's not something to be ignored, it's something to be embraced. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't get over them. It doesn't mean that you can't move on from them and be with somebody else and pursue a happy relationship with someone else. But the only way that you can find closure from that situation while still understanding that that connection is eternal is not from suppressing that connection, not from bringing that connection down off the pedestal. It's from bringing all the other connections up on the pedestal, starting with the connection with yourself. The way that you feel about your twin flame is the way that you should feel about yourself. You need to love yourself in the same way that you love. And when I say love, I'm not referring to just romantic love. I'm referring to that spiritual love, that spiritual attraction, that present moment awareness that you feel when you're with them. You need to feel that same feeling when you're all alone, when you are with yourself. In fact, I think I even said that in Soul Shock, in my book, I think I said something along the lines of, I need to feel what I felt with you when I'm all alone, so I deleted your number out of my phone. That's another thing. I deleted her number. Turns out, her number was in my Apple Pay transactions. Couldn't delete it. I thought about getting a new phone. <laughs> I deadass thought about getting a new phone because of that, bro. That's when I realized, symbolically, that I can't run from that connection. The connection is there to stay. The key is developing that same connection with myself and using that as a litmus test using that as a framework a reference point as to how I need to feel about myself and once you love yourself in that way that gives you the ability the freedom to love other people in that way not just your twin flame but anyone family members friends other romantic interests soulmates as you may call them and in that love everybody effectively becomes your twin flame